Remember that paper by Google and Stanford on fully autonomous AI generative agents? Well, that code for it has finally been open source and officially released for anyone to use for free, which is basically showcasing that you are able to deploy the code locally on your desktop and run fully autonomous agents. Now you are now able to tweak analyze and input code for your own liking so that you can deploy your own ai agents within this small will environment now there are 25 ai agents inhabiting this digital world called small will in which they are unaware that they're living in a simulation so they go to work gossip organize socials make new friends and even fall in love each of them have unique personalities and backend stories creating memories that would affect their future behaviors and action. Now, Smallwell is among the most inspiring AI agent experiments in 2023. And we often talk about a single large language model becoming emergent with its abilities, but multi-agent emergence could be something that is so much more fascinating and complex at this scale. So throughout today's video, we're gonna showcase how you can actually install this locally on our desktop and how you can actually play around with the Smallville environment. So with that thought guys, stay tuned throughout the video now guys before we actually get into the video if you guys haven't seen our new patreon page please do so by clicking on the link in the description below as you can get access to our discord community that offers a lot of premium features in which you can get the latest ai news partnerships giveaways networking opportunities and a lot more so definitely check this out with the link in the description below now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends so you can be up to date with any anything that is happening in the AI world. Now lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. Now, a couple months back, we actually talked about this research paper on this channel as we showcase what this research paper is about. But throughout today's video, we're actually going to talk a little bit more about how you can install it and deploy your own fully autonomous AI agents. But before we actually do that, I just want to give a little breakdown for the people who do not know what this project is about. Now, this research paper is titled Generative Agents, which interact in a simulation of different types of human behaviors. Now, it aims to introduce and explore the concepts of generative AI. AI agents. Now there is a lot of different companies that are focusing on this. Now I recently covered another GPT agent that focused on an RPG GPT environment which is basically working on the same project aspect where they're developing autonomous AI agents that operate in a fully autonomous environment and I'll leave both of these links in the description below as you'll get a better idea and a description as to what they're trying to achieve but basically they're trying to make sure that the concept of generative agents are basically used through a computational software agent that is capable of simul simulating the believable human behaviors in a virtual AI environment. So it mimics human activities, interactions, social dynamics, which is basically providing a more immersive and realistic experience within various digital environments. Now, this paper emphasizes that having realistic proxies of human behavior is basically essential for enhancing interactive applications, including virtual environments, communication platforms, and prototyping tools. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely going to revolutionize the way gaming is going to be in the future, as you're able to deploy these autonomous agents that could basically become NPCs and involve how they interact with players. Not only will it help different game gaming studios out, but it will also help different businesses that want to deploy their own AI agents within their own deployed environment. And this is by creating generative agents, which the authors seek to empower through this application of an AI driven agent that can engage in a wide range of activities, interact with each other and exhibit behaviors that resemble both real humans. Now let's get to the next step of the video where I'll showcase how you can actually install this locally on your desktop. So firstly, you'll need Git, which is an application to help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you'll need Python as your code editor. 
Thirdly, you'll need Visual Studio Code to input the API key within the actual code application. And lastly, you'll need an API key that is connected to a valid billing account so that you can actually utilize the tokens to help generate the API keys that are needed for the application. So with that thought, let's get right into the video once you have all these things figured out with. The so one thing you want to keep in mind before you actually start installing it is that once you're in the github repository they have stated that this repository accompanies our research paper and it contains our core simulation model for the agents which is the computational agents that simulate believable human behavior and their game environment and they actually have the step-by-step -step process as to how you can actually install the environments onto your desktop locally and replaying the actual simulation as the demo is showcasing which we can see on their blog post so guys what you want to do now is open up your command prompt and what you want to do is go to the github repository which i'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily so what you want to do now is click on this green button over here and copy this link right here and what you want to then do is go back on your command prompt type in git clone sorry and paste the link and click enter now once that is done you'll get to this step where you will then need to go into the actual file which is typing in cd uh, the actual generative agent underscore agents file now you want to just click, keep this clicked over here but now you want to open up visual studio code now once you have visual studio code open click on open folder and find the generative agents that you just cloned and once you have that opened up you want to now go on to your api key section on OpenAI and generate a new secret key now, don't worry about this guys, I'll delete this code after this uh, key, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, once you have created your API key, what you want to do next is copy this code on the GitHub repository. And this is where you will input your API key. Now, open Visual Studio's code back up, go into the Reverie folder, now click on backend server. And what you want to do next is click a new, create a new file. And you want to name this this uh utils.py so type in utils.py click enter and what you want to do next is paste the code that we just copied from the github repository now once this is done this is where you'll need to input your api key which we just generated so i'm gonna need to do this again create this key go back on visual studio code and paste it over here now in terms of the key owner you can name it to whatever your name is so in this case i'm gonna just name it world of ai and then click save now guys you need to go to the next step where we will now install the requirements that are required to operate this application so once you're in this actual file which we did previously you want to type in this command pip install dash r requirements dot txt which is installing the txt requirements that are associated over here with the project so once this is finished installing we'll be now able to now run the actual application on our desktop so now we have finished installing it you can start the environment but before we actually start running the simulation there's a couple of things that you want to keep in mind there is a couple of tips over here customization ideas and a lot of different things that are associated with this project on the repo so if you want to get the time to check out and actually run your own autonomous AI agents definitely read through this so you can get a better understanding but in this case i'm just showcasing you the bare minimum where i can showcase how you can run your own simulation locally with the code that is provided with this project so what you now need to do is copy this command over here which is starting the environment server and what you need to now do is go into the environment and front end server and this is by typing in cd environment and then typing in cd front end now what you want to do next is paste this command and click enter and there you go it will then prompt you to open up your local host and this is where you can run your fully autonomous ai society and this is easy as that guys now there's a couple other things that we need to cover and this is something that i'll showcase now in the video so now that we have our generative ai agents running in our own simulation there's a couple other commands that you can do you can start your own simulation server with this command you're able to run and save the data of the simulation by typing in the command and running it so that it can navigate to your simulator home file you're able to replay the actual 
generation as well as demoing the simulation so if you want to get these commands definitely check it out with the link in the description below that will take you to the github repository but in conclusion guys this is how you're able to run the generative agents research paper on your desktop and i hope you found this video to be very helpful as this is a great step forward in the world of ai so guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out the patreon page if you guys haven't so that you can get the best exclusive features by joining the patreon now if you guys haven't followed world of ai please do so so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely benefit you so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas